How's it going everyone? This is Trainer Carter and you're about to watch another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle video today. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do enjoy this Wi-Fi battle, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. I appreciate the support you guys. I've been getting a lot of likes and comments. I just continue doing that. I appreciate it. And we're also close to 150 subs, so help me reach that goal. That would be amazing. But I'm not too greedy, so take your time on that. But anyway, so uh, we have a OU battle, or just a regular match, against Zero. And I wanted to try out Choice Band Caesar because I feel like Mega, Mega Caesar is getting pretty old by now. And so I figured, why not try the old school Choice Band set? I like pairing up Scizor with Heatran because of interesting synergy there. And for my Glass Water and Fire Core, I've got Heatran, Clawitzer, and Roserade. Very interesting team. Let's begin the match here. So I'm going to start with this shiny hatch list I got from way back when. I assumed that since we went out with Charizard, I assumed it was either Charizard Y or X or neither, I don't know, but he ends up double switching, which means either he's holding on to it or maybe it isn't a mega Charizard X or Y. So that's good to know. On the double switch out, I go into my Heatran and this particular Heatran it's a little bit weird. I put a lot of special attack investment. Most of the time, people run a specially defensive heat clan. And yeah, I, I agree on that because like that that's like the most common set on heat clan. But this one in particular utilizes Magnusorm and Cossack. It's a little bit of a strange combination. But you'll see this in the full effect right here because this Cofagrigus, I don't, I don't think my opponent can switch out. So we see the Cofagrigus getting destroyed by this Heatran with the combination of the Magma Storm. I do miss out on the Magma Storm hit right there, but that's a little bit unfortunate. I mean, it's not going to end up mattering in the long run. But just to show you how I miss those all the time, I keep mi I keep missing Magma Storm at times. It's just it's not really funny. It's just a little bit annoying. That's all. So we're gonna reveal our final move in the form of Flash Cannon. Of course, Flash Cannon. It is stab, but I don't know if a lot of people run it. I run it just because, well, because since I'm using Magma Storm, I don't feel like. Like, if I keep missing Magma Swarm, if you guys saw me miss one of those, I feel like going for a Flash Cannon just to not miss a move. That's all I'm trying to say. Now, here's Slacking, and Slacking, I, I don't know if it's Choice, uh, Choice Band or Choice Scarf, I should say, but I know it's Choice in some manner. So, knowing that, okay, I can go into my... Choice Band Scizor right here, Red Blade, and go for a U-turn because I know he's going to switch into Charizard because of the the typing matchup. But hey, I'm getting the heck out of here and I'm going to go into my Shiny Haxorus once again because I noticed that he, my opponent actually, switched out earlier. So this is a prime time to set up with a Dragon Dance. As he's he does switch out, so that's great because we go for Dragon Dance, we boost up our speed and attack. And this is awesome because he brought in Muck, and just for Muck, I got Earthquake, which is super effective against Muck. So we take care of Muck. Wow, I keep saying Muck over and over, but you know what I'm talking about. We take care of him. Awesome. But unfortunately for me, while I do have a plus one Hatteras, 
I don't know if it's a choice scarf or not, but this slacking, oh man, it's bulky as well. So he's able to take a plus one outrage, and he retaliates back by going for that move, retaliate, and one hit KOing my shiny Hatseris. But that's okay, because I noticed at this point of the match, my win condition is Caesar. So we need to keep this guy alive for the remainder of the match. Now this, this Garchomp, it's not rough skin, which it is banned, I feel like. I don't know, but I mean, at the same time, I'm happy that it isn't rough skin because rough skin will take away your HP if you make contact. Anyway, so enough of that. It's a Garchomp, gosh darn it. And we're going to put that Garchomp to sleep. And this is going to work out great because I have a Focus Sash. We put him to sleep there and we confuse the Garchomp too. This Roserade, I used the same Roserade from Black and White 2 when I had my battles from when I started my channel. Uh, this Roserade is really awesome because it has... Sleep Powder, Leaf Storm, Toxic Spikes, and Sludge Bomb. And I, I remember specifically in one of my Wi-Fi battles from Black and White, I destroyed two Pokemon with just Rosary as a lead. So it's it's pretty effective, I must say. But, you know, this slacking is, I think, I realized at this point, it's Choice Scarf. Okay? Because... You know, he has Bag Rosary, I, I assume, there. So, we're going to go with a Superpower, even though he does have Charizard still. Superpower is going to do a lot of damage, even though it's resistant. So, we do finally get this Charizard some more information. You know, like, it's a Mega Charizard Y, and I knew he was holding on to it, so... Uh, yeah, so it's a Mega Charizard Y, and he, I, I don't know why he didn't do it earlier. I, I guess it's because Hatseris, it wouldn't work against a dragon, because fire is not very strong against dragon. But if he had Dragon Pulse, he could have used it then, but nope. So we're going to sacrifice Toxic Croak. I, I don't know why, I mean, I guess I did it because I don't think Toxic Croak would be very useful at this point of the match. So I'm sorry, Toxic Croak. We'll give you some more love later in the future. I'm just saying that because, well, I, why would you just sacrifice a Pokemon like that? That's just not cool. So we're going to make up to him someday. Yeah, someday. Okay, so we do play some games with the Bisharp here. He went for Sucker Punch. That is a priority move, but... I go first because Scizor is faster than Bisharp. Thus, my priority move will go first. So, we take care of the Bisharp. And let me tell you, that Blood Punch is doing some major work against his entire team until now. So, we take care of the Slacking because, again, it's priority. If you have a choice Scarf, I outspeed. So, here is his last Pokemon, Charizard Y. And at that level of HP, we're going to go for the bullet punch and finish off the match. So that is a great battle there. I, I enjoyed this battle. It kind of shows you how powerful Choice Band Scizor really is. And it was a fun match. Just, just saying. Alright guys. So if you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle again. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe as well. I really want to get to 150 subs. It will be a great milestone, and hopefully we can get to 200 subs or more. But it's going to take a while. I know that, but I'll do everything I can to make that happen. So, hope you guys have a great Wednesday or whatever day you're watching this. Just have a great day. Have a great rest of your week. And until next time. I will be posting another battle, hopefully by this weekend, so stay tuned with that in mind, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, trainers. Mm -hmm.